All right, so today we're going to kind of uh, go over lesson 15. So in the textbook, so we're going to start off lesson 15. So lesson 15 uses Adobe Animate, so I'm going to open up Adobe Animate. Okay, and then looking at it, we're, we're going to be creating a some shapes, and uh, we're going to be, it uh, looks like a coffee cup. So... So we're going to be making a coffee cup shape. So I'm going to start by, uh, it says that we need to create a um, 700 by 200 for the stage. And we're going to create an action script 3.0 template, even though right now it doesn't look like we're coding any, but we're just getting ready. So action script, um, I'm going to click once on the stage and make my window a little bit bigger. And then there we go. Okay, I'm going to click once on my on my stage just to make sure I've got that active. I'm going to say fit in window, and then I'm going to change the size to 700 700 width by 200 pixels. So by 200. Okay, and then let me see. Make this color of the stage a light brown by clicking the icon next to the background color and clicking the CC9966, which is a hex color. So then right here where it says stage and the color, I'm going to click on that. Um, I'm going to come through here. Is it, it was 66, no, CC9966. CC, where's my C? I don't see. Oh, oh, there's a C. CC66. Nine six, no CC nine nine six six CC CC nine nine six six. There we go. Or we just could have come up here and then type CC nine nine six six. Oops. And there we go. All right. Okay. So there, right there. All right, and then uh. Then it wants us to go ahead and save it. So yeah, so always save your work right now. It's saved as, as Untitled 1. So we're going to come here. We're going to save this. This is uh, my last name, underscore my first name, hyphen, lesson 15, I believe. No, lesson, lesson 15. Okay. So I've just saved that, lesson 15. Um, now in the tools panel, we're going to select a rectangle tool. So I'm going to come here to the tools. I've got the rectangle tool. Okay. And then the rectangle tool, make sure the object drawing mode is icon is not selected. So I'm going to left click object drawing mode. Object drawing mode is off. Okay. So if I click it, well, click that. Now it's on. Now it's off. It said to turn it off. Okay. Then choose a stroke color and a fill color. Okay. My stroke color, it's the pencil, my stroke color, going to click it. It is 663300. Okay, I'm just going to come here. I'm going to type pound sign, pound sign 663300. Okay, my fill color. Okay, I'm going to go with CC6600. That's CC6600, CC66600, CC6600. Okay, and the stage draw a rectangle that's taller than it is wide. So I want taller than wide okay uh, on the stage draw a rectangle okay you'll specify the exact size position rectangle step six okay now i need to select the selection tool selection tool okay that's the the black arrow right there so i got the selection tool drag the selection tool around the entire rectangle to select the stroke and fill because remember if you just click on the inside it's just going to grab the fill okay if you grab the outside it's just going to grab that line Okay, so I'm going to left click and drag across to select the whole thing. Okay, um, now that I've got that, okay, I've got the, it's got marquee dots on it, indicating it's selected in the property inspector. So I'm over here, so I need in the property, so I'm in the properties. Um, type 130 width, 150 for the height. Okay, so here, so that's my width and my height. So my width, it wanted 130 and the height, it wanted was 150 okay so it just resized it now it's requesting that i save again it's a good thing to save because you never know when you kick out your power plug or your buddy turns your computer off so save often 
Um, now we need an oval tool. Now you'll create the opening of the top. In the tools panel, choose the oval tool. So I'm going to go back and choose the oval tool. Um, it shows me the stroke and the color that I had earlier. Um, let's see, the option forces a shape to draw the stage on the stage, snap to each other. Click the inside of the rectangle and drag across it to make an oval inside the rectangle. So I'm going to come here and and so I want to start here and I'm going to go to there. Okay. Click the click inside the rectangle, drag it across to make an oval inside the rectangle. The snap to objects makes the side of the oval connect to the sides of the rectangle. Okay. So it's going to snap. Okay. And draw another oval near the bottom of the rectangle. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to draw another one. I'm going to snap. Oh, that's neat how it just kind of absorbed. Let me step back. Undo, undo. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to start right there. And then I'm going to make a big, oh, look at that. Just kind of like takes it over. I'm going to snap. And we're going to come here. And then we're going to go there. Nope, nope, nope. Not where I want to be. I'm going to come here. I'm going to go there. There we go. Boom. All right. So there in it. And now it says to save again. So you got the little asterisk there. The asterisk means that I haven't saved in a while. So I'm going to go to file, save. Okay. Now to modify an object, you must first be able to select the different parts of it in Flash. Okay. Uh, sub selection tool. So I'm going to need the sub selection tool. That's the white arrow. Okay. Now you'll make the rectangle and ovals look more like a coffee cup. You're going to use the selection tool to delete the unwanted strokes and fills. Well, I actually did a really good job covering them up. So um, in the tools panel, select the selection tool. So I need to go back to the selection tool. Click the, the fill above the top oval to select it. Uh, I don't have one. And so, so let me move those back. So we're going to go edit, undo, edit, undo. Okay, I'm going to go back to my oval tool. I'm going to come here. I'm going to go there, and I'm going to go there, and I'm going to come here, and now I can click there. Now I can delete that. Cool. Come here, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to come there, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to click on that, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to click on that, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to click on that, I'm going to delete that. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. So I've got something closer to a coffee cup. Um, oh, I can get rid of this line too. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get rid of that. So now it's slightly curved at the bottom. Doesn't quite match that. Um, you know, so it's ugly, but you know what? It'll work. Um, going to save. Okay, so I got that. It's so going to go to file, save. All right. And then from there, I want you to kind of take over. Okay, so I want you to take over on the editing. You're going to be pulling it out to the side. Okay, so I'm on about approximately page 371 inside of our textbook. If you have any questions, please let me know.